Hi everyone, it's Professor Todd with the final video in the research proposal series. This video will cover section 5, the bibliography. In this section, you will provide MLA citations for all of the sources that you cited and consulted in the drafting of your research proposal. You ha must have a minimum of at least five sources used in this research proposal and therefore cited in the bibliography, and that would be at least two sources used in the first section, the overview and context section, and at least three sources used in the second section or the critical conversation section. Certainly you're welcome to have more, but those are the minimums for this assignment. So let's take a look at an example. You'll notice three key factors about the formatting of this example bibliography. The first is that it is double-spaced throughout, and the second is that it is listed in alphabetical order by author's last name or title of the source if an author is not available, with no bullets or numbering. The third is that it uses what we call the hanging indent format, where the first line of the citation is aligned with the left-hand side and the second line and any subsequent lines of the citation are indented. So it's sort of the opposite of what you think about with a traditional paragraph where you indent the first line and not all of the rest of the lines. This is the opposite. You don't indent the first line. You do indent all subsequent lines. Okay. So there are two common types of sources that most of you will be using in your bibliography, and that is um, sources that you found from a traditional web page, such as the first one listed here from Reuters, or the second one from Psychology Today. Those you typically do author's last name, title, website, date, and then a link to the URL. The other type of common source is a source that comes from an academic journal that you might find on a database, such as the final one there listed by Holly Wilcox. That one you provide a little bit more information. You provide the author, the title of the article, the journal, and then the volume and issue number and the page range if available. Uh, excuse me, the date followed by the page range, and then the DOI. The DOI is kind of an identifying number attached to journal articles and databases. If you don't have the DOI available, you can also provide the URL. So the way to um, format these is to find a reliable MLA guide such as the one at Purdue University's Online Writing Lab or their OWL, which I will link on our website. They have a full MLA citation guide on that website that will show you how to cite just about every type of source, including these two common types of a web page or a journal article. So this should give you a good start on how to complete the bibliography section, um, which is, again, the final section of your research proposal. Take care.